Welcome back to Command & Conquer Tiberium Crisis and welcome to another challenge map. And this time it's Downfall. It's the map where we here bring down the first of the towers. Once more Said Madhu is going to join me here. And we actually start with quite a number of structures here including, well, depending on uh, assume you're playing, a crane and the communication center, the first of the, the tech structures here. You are immediately threatened by a screen rift generator. Here, this this game likes to do that, or this this mod rather. That there's just an enemy super weapon waiting for you straight away. But yep, that tower is huge. But at the same time, you know, this one here can be reached quite easily, and that's a theme in a couple of missions where the super weapons are fairly exposed, which probably is also because if it wasn't, uh, one of them could just kind of zap. Probably both bases actually. And maybe not take out the construction island crawler, but certainly uh, probably take out all your lower tier units. Basically, everything that isn't like a mammoth tank or so, or a walker. And then uh, probably cripple you at least. But here, yeah, we've got these zone troopers here. Pretty powerful and a great range. Actually, considerably better than it is in the base game. At least it feels, it feels like they've got more range here. Gonna get some predators in here as well. Fairly basic, but also fairly solid. There we go. That's it for the rift generator here. This base here, you can try to take it out in its entirety, but the screen are actually going to build up somewhat rapidly, so it's not that straightforward. It would be easier if you had engineers who could actually take over anything. Or oh, that isn't just a neutral tech structure. Well, well I suppose an enemy owns tech structure, but that's that's not the case uh, here. Also, interestingly, you get access to the Nord Refinery. I'm not quite sure why. It stands out quite a bit because it has the, the red frame there. Uh, possibly because it's stealthed. But yeah, I guess you'd have to implement that specifically, so I'm not sure why that's the case. Also, the screen are going to come after you with the air units, so be, be prepared for that. You can build slingshots. And slingshots, to be honest, they don't feel that powerful. Like, the, the Hunter feels more powerful. And that guy can also attack infantry, or ground units in general is good against infantry, but slingshot is it's anti-air only. For that, at least here, it feels not not terrible by any means, but it just feels kind of weakish. Not not a whole lot of space here, but that will be solved by there also not being a whole lot of tabarium, so that's going to disappear quickly. It looks like quite a lot, but this, this mod here has a tendency of not giving you a whole lot to work with uh, economically. And that's not even because there's the like the issue of like two players being on the map now and you having basically uh, a shared economy here. But it's also true for a lot of other maps, inc including for the AI actually. There's a lot of maps where the AI just runs out of money in like 10 minutes and then you can immediately see everything it throws at you is just... <laughs> yeah, not enough space here. Uh, everything, of course, should build another power plant. Or uh, there we go. Hey, let's trade even more power. Like everything, it then th sends at you are just free reinforcements, and it doesn't actually build anything anymore. That's quite evident on some maps, and it's also it can be a bit of annoyance, especially if the reinforcements come from all directions, and it's difficult to like wrestle map control from the AI there. Of course, there's, there's lightning spikes here. Not that powerful actually, but they can pop up anywhere, so they are, they're, they're fairly annoying that way. Yeah, it's time to marf up. Because we're basically like basic GDI. Or at least as close as you get to to just like vanilla Tiberian uh, Wars. Yeah, well, I guess not Tiberian Wars because we do have the marf. Kind of like Kane's Rush is uh, GDI, with everybody else being more for more for Tiberian uh, Twilight esque faction. And I was kind of amazed that fit in there. But well, let's get the math because it's still, especially against the AI, it's still the best idea to just get like beefy, like big and beefy units, even if they're a bit slower. And of course, again, not it here because that's the concentration of wealth, which is not great. That's going to cause some issues. 
But well, uh, that that's how it is. Plus my well, and there we go. Anti air went online, just in case. Yeah. But these guys are all gonna all gonna die now. But that's uh, well, that's how it is. You don't need his own troops. Even though it would have been nice to have some to just put into the math already. But oh well. Yeah, some economic expansion here will be necessary. Yeah, let's get the Nord Refinery, just for the stealth factor. Also, my Predators here just phasing straight through... through the... the MAF Construction Center there. Nord has two construction yards, uh, which I mean... Temples of Nord, but one of them is fake, or at least one of them doesn't actually provide them with a support weapon attack. Upgrades are coming in, which is nice. There'll also be attacks coming from the north. But yeah, uh, let's see about that. You can actually go straight for the face generators, for those towers. But I would not recommend it become, because as soon as you attack those... They're actually gonna send a force after you, they're just gonna phase in. So if you go after those straight away, uh, you're probably gonna get yourself uh, beaten up quite badly. And the tower itself also has a lot of health, so you can't just bring it down. That quickly, and I, I don't think you can actually bring it down with the iron cannon just one go. Either I could be wrong about that. There's the tech center. Dedicated barracks, didn't actually have that. A unit is under attack. Yeah, they don't actually come after you here hard, even though that is the flank of the tower. For some reason, the eye isn't terribly concerned actually defending that, that flank properly. Time to beef up the Marth. Marth's already pretty good, but with Zone Troopers inside, I mean, Zone Troopers inside is pretty expensive, because I think they are... Are they at 900 a pop or 1200 a pop? I think it's 900. But nevertheless, even with that, that amount of money, it's still gonna be an extra 3600 on top of the... Oh, yep, yeah, and the Rift Generator is back on the... Yep, yeah, Rift Generator here is marked. Yep, yeah, th that's what beacons are really good for. Uh, on top of the 4000 that the, the MAF does cost, so it's a total of... 7600 uh, credits just for a single unit, which is quite a lot. But I do like to do, at least in, in Kane's Rest, I did that at least once in the, the challenge. But you can also collect Tiberium, but uh, it barely gives you any money. It's it's a better option. If you want to ruin your opponent's uh, field, actually. And yeah, so you, you can also put like four engineers into a math. If you get a math fully promoted plus four engineers, it regenerates really quickly. If you then put it into the repair aura of like a war factory, it is it's not indestructible, but you're gonna need some firepower to even drain its power faster than it then it uh, will regenerate. Another lightning spike here. It's just a bit of a nuisance. Commandos coming up as well. The commandos are pretty useful because you can destroy buildings in one go, which the engineers no longer can do. Of course, the engineers you have to sacrifice for that, but then again they also provide you with money and units after you to get, uh, get that structure taken over. Yeah, the mortar here, nobody really needs that. Extra hit points are kind of nice, but then again, I'm going to use the zone troopers that are hidden in the mar, so it doesn't really uh, matter too much. Because one of eight, so the Ragam upgrade is still, is still a go here. It took a moment, but also fairly expensive, so that's, that's not too surprising. Tiberium missile here is on the way as well, but you... It is a bit unfortunate if you can't take it out in time, but at the same time, yeah, I accidentally include the, the harvest and the group there. So rocket harvester, but you still don't want to do that. You can fairly reliably just cluster a bunch of units in one go, and then the super weapon is probably going to go for that, because as far as I know, unless it's scripted, any super weapon will always go for the highest concentration of, of wealth, basically. 
unless it's Siberian Dawn, then they just attack your advanced guard tower with their, with their nuke because the eye just hates whatever first guard tower you go. It's a bit of an oddity, I don't know why they did that, but that's, that's just how it works. The walkers are walking alongside here. I think we are, we are ready to move out here. Yeah, this again. Yeah, the shield doesn't protect from that, does it? At least not from the blackout effect. There's another mammoth here. Yeah, the mammoth is also neat because it does have anti and anti ground capabilities, so that's, that's quite nice. Let's get the Marv marved up. I do like the Marv, but in some ways I prefer having the two Mastodons. Now, I think Vanguard has. I think it's Vanguard. It's not Falcon Army, but I think it's uh, I think it's Vanguard. A bunch of infantry here, moving out. They're against the defense faction, so uh, and that's that's to be expected. Yep, Commando's ready as well. Either right now, yeah, I think the, the Taber missile's a priority. Then again, it's maybe unlikely that that, that can still be destroyed in time. Oh, here's oh, yeah, a weird disc for a person there. Never sure what to make of you. Also, I think those... Yeah, I think, yeah these guys here still didn't actually... Never mind. Yeah, lots of screen here, but these are mostly weaker units. There's one one tripod walker here. Oh, of course, the, the air units. Yep, should've, should've known about that. But okay, there we go. Let's mark up once more. The good thing about the... about the... like the flying artillery here is that they're really not that tanky. The plant here are assault carriers, but everybody else here they go, they go down fairly quickly and have a decent amount of anti air here. Which I think, do these guys outrange that? I'm not even sure about that. But the Mammoth can also uh, resist their attacks at, uh, for a decent amount of time. The infantry really cannot. Still quite a lot of them. Which is a bit of an annoyance. Yep, we know the routine. Yep, we're going down. Just more mammoth, because what else would you build, really? Yeah, I think they, they might outrange anti-air, but we'll have trouble actually staying out of range here. So now these, these juggernauts here could probably need some backup, because they're not the, not the tankiest of units, of course. Yeah, and the, the terror missile can't really be stopped at this point here. But well, that's that's how it is. On the plus side... Enemy units, side. With here still almost unprotected, and it goes down fairly quickly, actually. But also, no more power, which is nice. And there we go, second Rift Generator is gone. And we also have uh, double iron cannons, which is nice. Oh, more screen infantry here. Yeah, the screen already housed it. All this Tiberium here. I think they've got one in the back. What else on the move? Because there's like no lightning spikes and whatever else they have here. There's nothing. Nothing insurmountable. Also, the, the iron can is going to be ready soon. And that pretty much toasts anything that isn't like a high tier tanky unit. So there's, so there's that. And also plenty of wrecks. If you can get to those in time. And then also find a spot that you need to click on with the engineer to actually uh, resurrect the, the task here. I guess uh, some houses are under attack, but it's not nothing major. Right, 
Yeah, most of the units here are already down. Well, the Juggernauts is hurt, but they're, they're not doing too poorly, all things considered. Let's see what the commando can achieve here. Oh no, it's where's that corrupt up? Okay, can I get these names here straight? And the... Yeah, I think that might actually be it for the units they have in their... Their base here. There we go, and of, of course the commander gets completely toasted by a bunch of basic infantry that are in here. That is, that is just so sad. It, it is so sad, really. How weak that guy is to just basic infantry. Not even anybody like promoted or like had here. It's just, just the guys that come out of out of the, the building he just blew up, which they shouldn't even do, should they? This, this is like Tiberian Dawn rules, where there's still guys coming out, but oh well. Some more Mammoth, always useful. And the Storm Column is back. That's just a Storm Column. There we go. Consider yourself reclaimed. The real missile hasn't been fired yet. Maybe that's not actually the one from the uh, from the real temple. However, the iron cannon has been charged. Of course, you can always wait until you have both them ready. I'm not sure whether you can destroy one super weapon with two of your own super weapons. I think you can, but I'm I'm not 100 percent sure. Let's just I'm moving back that that memo there. Just did that so it has a chance to repair itself. Close to the crawler there. Yeah. We'll grab the stabilizer, no thank you. Do I have time to get the engineer for some of these racks here? And of course, you also want to make sure that, that everything's clear, otherwise, because the engineer is slow. They're slow and very vulnerable. Yeah, at least he. Well, in theory, still have immediate takeover, depending on what you're actually trying to take over, which is not a whole lot of things, because options are kind of limited. But you just get out of there, please. Can you get these guys with like full health? I think that's when they have shields originally. I'm not quite sure. But in any case. Probably should have used the iron cam here already. Well, let's see, yeah, that's that gun walker there really wanted to wanted to, to destroy that tripod for some reason. But yeah, more reinforcements on the way as well. Yeah, these are all like mostly lower tier units. And no more big air units and no uh, carriers, actually. At least none that I've seen. Which is always nice. Still quite a lot of stuff. Yeah, still have plenty of throughout us here. But yeah, just leave the... Just focus on this and leave the phase generators alone. For the time being, I'm not sure whether you can use, blow those up with a commando. Maybe if you can. Uh, can you blow up the tower with a commando? I haven't tried that. Well, they've got their shields here, but they go down really quickly. But then again, I guess they're, they're better than nothing. And you do get, well, sort of get them for free. The eye probably does. Yeah, time to. I can the situation here. Let's hope that doesn't crash the game. It usually doesn't crash the game. I didn't have crashes due to super opens, but this massive slowdown definitely. Walker here is doing okay. There we go. Frames have been destroyed, that's for sure. And now it's uh, the swarm of infantry. That's always uh, a sure way to tell that you hit quite a lot of structures. Gunwalker has a gigantic shield, look at this. Yeah, that's always a but yeah, with all these these mammoth here and whatnot, that's not much of a problem. 
Mind if you oh not actually coming. That that's that's acceptable. Yeah. It's just infantry and whatnot. And there's actually base defenses there. And hey, also the oh wait, that's not actually a rocket harvester. That's just a regular harvester. Yeah, but no, that's good good point to get more more mimoth here. They really didn't like that barracks. Hey, the harvesters are coming for us as well. Yeah, that's that's fine though. This is some some stuff left here, so the base isn't isn't gone completely, but there's nothing nothing major here, and nothing that can't be erased. Short in a short amount of time, here. except maybe I guess uh, their drone platform because that that's pretty tough. Even that feels tougher than the other construction yards, but maybe I'm just imagining that. Or maybe because it's it's a, a structure I'm keen on destroying. The house does here just walking away. Okay. You, you you do that. Yeah, it's just some not entry, but nothing. Nothing major. But it seems like this was it for the most part. Even though no there's there's still some units, some structures left here. Not keen on bringing down a crawler, even though they're, they're probably not oh, they actually have the Yeah, the eradicator uh, gateway here. I'm not sure whether they actually built the eradicator. Even if they do it's powerful, but once you have like a couple of mammoths plus your own epic unit, you, you're probably gonna be okay. Yeah, that not attack, not particularly successful. And the harvester here, oh, it's just going to the other field there, sure. There we go, yeah, the, the storm column will also really feel nerfed. They range so feels pretty good, but they they feel extremely fragile, more fragile than they did in the base game. Which I'm, I'm not sure whether I like that or not, because the screen they they feel fairly powerful at times, even though they have some fairly specific weaknesses. Like stealth detection is uh, really bad for the screen. They have I mean, they do have static stealth detection. Their base defense like the other factions, but I think I think their carrier that can attack stealth, but otherwise they only have like one other unit that can actually do that it's, it's a bit weird i'm not quite sure why it, why, why it is like that but yeah stealth detection is pretty weak we could argue how important it is because stealth have definitely been nerfed and like tabaran sun stealth it, it's fairly powerful but even the, the reactors are or the stealth generator they're, they're expensive and they cost a lot of power but they cloak everything including themselves that's not the case here and then um, Tavern was and came through as they just they just cloak everything around them. So you're not gonna know what is there, but you're gonna know something is there. And it does make a bit of a difference. Got a nice collection of heavy units here, that's what you want ultimately. No nope, air units here, not good. Maybe time to get some. Yep, let's go after not next. Maybe get oh, well not not decided to to turn here. I'm just gonna send their heavy boys, but that's that's uh, I think too little too late here. Yeah, they're already going down. Didn't even destroy the barracks. How did they not manage to destroy the barracks? That's such a fragile building. Well, never mind. Of course, the the almost dead mammoth got the got the upgrade there. Yeah, the some more air units here, but yeah, nothing, nothing that we can't handle here. They're fairly isolated. So we'll we'll manage here. Also, and air upgrade here. That's pretty useful. I'm not sure. So they look fortified, but I'm not sure whether that actually increases. Like the defense of those those structures, but they definitely look they look tougher. Crystal here. Even though yeah, no, there's no crystal there right now. Yeah, more mammoth here. In money wise, this map isn't actually quite as bad as I uh, remember, but it's also oh yeah, oh there's more from here. You can see the shadow.
There we go. But as you can see, these guys go down really quickly. Um, but there's, a, there's an assault carrier there as well. Yep. Ooh, the Marv actually got a double promotion already. Not bad at all. Yeah, but this one here, yeah, usually I send him a group of like at least four, possibly more. And they're a bit more useful, but here uh, not so much. Yeah, oh, not gonna get it. Yeah, definitely. Yep, some infantry coming uh, after us, you can see. I guess maybe all the infantry spawning also, i uh, change that a little bit. Yeah, there's still more air units there, which is still annoying, but yeah, you can see. There was a lot of casualties. Here they have, I think that's an obelisk actually. There's actually the correct counter to these heavy units, but not if you just have one. Then it doesn't work like that. Oh yeah, oh, they're building a Centurion. Here. Centurion really looks heavy, but it's really not that heavy, you know. Yeah, oh yeah, this in the crawler moved, so no healing for you guys. There we go, much faster now than that most guys have been taken out. Also, Obelisk can attack air units now, but now it's really bad against infantry. And also, when I use it as like. And I think it was the, the first, yeah, the first not mission, the one in Brazil, where I, I don't think they give you any anti entry based defenses. And the Obelisk is kind of terrible, especially against like the heavy units like uh, Black Hand, it's kind of terrible because it's not good against them, but they excel against structures. So you, you really don't want that situation. In the, and of course, in all the in all the base games, or the, the mainline games, or almost all of them, may not have in Twilight. It doesn't work like that. There, it's actually excellent against infantry. Well, sort of. In Tiberian Dawn, the Obelisk has... It sort of has a weakness against infantry in the sense that it can only zap one at a time. And as a result... Yeah, I don't think you can take... I don't think Centurions actually leave husks. No, I think they just have like a extended death animation. The so obelisk can only zap one unit at a time. So as a as a result, if you've got a swarm of infantry, like twenty, which is the same cost as the obelisk, the obelisk is actually going to have quite some trouble to zap all of those in time. Whereas in actually, I guess in Tavern time it's similar, but in dead looks way too scorpion like, and it's kind of bulky and not as tall. Whereas in Tavernian uh, walls, you know, it can move a little bit. Either that's partially uh, offset by the fact that you mostly have infantry squads. Yep, the Cyrus and Hugo down. Yeah, they're dropping another crawler here. Let's get out of the way. Yeah, occasionally the AI just keeps dropping crawlers until you destroy all the other structures. So if you leave one structure, they're gonna drop like 20 crawlers. I think they did that in the, in the Persuade Him mission. Yeah, they're setting up shop here again, sure. Yeah, you do that. And gone already. We have actually both Juggernaut uh, types here. Which, uh, you can argue how realistic that is. But at the same time, it's not like all militaries immediately replace all the tech they have whenever like new tech comes on the market. And they could also have different purposes. There we go, that's it for not. So no no more crawlers after this. That wasn't actually too bad. And after that, the ones once the screen not are, are gone, going after the face generators isn't really much of a problem because you can just take your time, build up an army and whatnot. They're gonna come after you with some units, but it's not really a major thing because you can just just build up as as long as you wish basically. And there's uh, there's no time limit otherwise. Reclamation in progress. Even though what's coming now is there. Oh yeah, still have some some units there. Yep, war factory a little bit closer to the front lines. Oh, yeah, there's some more screen stuff here. 
I can see these don't last long, but then again, that's also one moth plus a bunch of zone, zone troopers. And they can attack air units, which makes them a lot more dangerous here. Yep, no, I guess not gonna build that here. That's fine. I think, was that another promotion for the Marth, or was it just a blinking cost of the... No, this, this is actually fully promoted now, that's that's very nice. It's very nice indeed. I'm not sure whether it gets experience from... Stealing some of them there. From the Zone Troopers firing inside, it might actually, because... Otherwise I don't think it could attack the air units. I think, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, lots of mammoth here, that's what you want. A bunch of excavators leaving here. Iron cannons charged, even though, well, it's not really needed right now. Let's move everyone here, all, the whole caravan, like crawler, mammoth and whatnot. Yep, should get some preparation ready here. I said now, even though this is a post commentary, so. That has already happened. Yeah, the cross are really practical for that. And you can do the same with the MCV. MCV can also move. Dance. With the crawler, you have the advantage. The crawler can produce units directly and has a healing aura, so it's a bit more practical in, in that regard. Yeah, more well, air units needed here. Or enter air, not air units. Yeah, this this should do it. And my entire air even remembers to attack the the actual unit, not just the the little carrier craft, which is very neat. There you go. Maybe one more just in case, but otherwise this should be fine now. They're gonna need a lot of firepower to get through there. And I'm also gonna need more firepower. The elite mouth. Not to under not to be underestimated. Some guys here. Need some more healing, yep. Yeah. That defense is a little bit too far in the north, but it's maybe good to have a, a buffer there. Then again, oh yeah, this guy here. This guy he decided to just come further south, but he's, you can tell, melting like butter. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, they, they definitely feel weaker than... I, I don't think you can give them shields, because I don't think you can shield air units. But yeah, they definitely feel weaker than they... They did in the base game. Maybe for the for the for the better now because the screen like to put a lot of those. Especially in the final GDI mission, they just built so many. Huge cannons here being built up. Yeah. We took as well it took just a little bit of time here. Just because it's safer that way. Hey, there's my not stealth harvester. Which I guess can be quite useful. Especially if you're out, if you're harvesting outside uh, your territory. And you don't know what units are there. Or you we well, you knew, but then you no longer do because uh, the shroud has grown too much. And yep, more mammoth here. Yeah, the economic situation on this map here is actually not too bad, but on, on a bunch of the other ones it's actually considerably worth. And one tripod walker, I'm still around. That's one of ours, so all good. May as well seat some tabarum here. Where are units about that? It's fine. I'm not sure, do these actually just spawn or they still have facilities? I mean, more, one screen AI is dead, but I'm not sure. Is, is there even a second one or is it all just one? Not quite sure about that actually. But in any case, a little more anti-air and everything's got. Yeah, there we go. 
Let's crash into that glacier. Okay. Walk us ready as well. And more of those really big guns. Here yeah, the Tabernacle Crisis Grand Cannon. The best we have the Sonic Mitter, which is still pretty good, especially because of the fact that it fires through several units, well, depending on what it's targeting. Uh, that's great against infantry or like clustered uh, weaker units. It's way better in that regard than the Obelisk. But the Obelisk has a different niche because it's literally just an anti heavy unit, a base defense here. It's not really good against anything else. I guess air units as well because it can target those now. As I copied the Cabal Obelisk or the Obelisk of Darkness. Which one it is that can attack air units? I can never keep those apart. Nothing there actually. I think that's where the Rift Generator was originally. But it no longer is. Yeah, here's just some harvesting going on here. Not going for those small patches, but yeah, sure. The Blue Tabarum here as well. But yeah, still preparing, because you never know. Actually, I, I do know, or did know that. There would be a bunch of extra units, but well, you have to be prepared. Some extra power here, just in case. Yeah, still not sure what they're not refined because it doesn't even replace the. Uh, uh, it doesn't replace GI refinery. It's just a building you get on top of everything else, and all players get it. So side might do a hand as a as well for some reason. Yeah, they're still sending air units here. Not sure why, but yeah, sure. You, you do that if you think that's the right choice. Yes, I can can be quite useful because it, especially because the forces they they get like teleported in and. So they actually stunned there for a moment. So you can use that to just target them with your super weapon if you want. Because super weapon needs they need quite a lot of time to uh, to actually deal their damage. They're not, not they're not exactly instant. Yep, let's get those shield generators. Well, we've we've got our own. Sure, another sonic emitter. Then let's see, yeah, show more Juggernauts, like that Juggernaut, but not the other Juggernaut. And Zone Troopers, they're, they're pretty expensive, but I think that's also because you can drop them anywhere. Yeah, not sure how I feel about Power Cross having a price. I don't think it's actually my, my favorite, but at the same time I think it's changed the dynamic a little bit because it makes it a bit more tactical, because you're, you're not just going to use them... Uh, to basically all whenever the uh, the respective power is ready, but that's that's fine. Yeah, didn't have the commander anymore because everyone got torn apart by basic infantry, which should not come out of that structure in the first place. But oh well, what what can you do? And just a second uh, barracks here because oh, we want that build speed. And here, glorious music, which is not always as dynamic as it should be, but yeah, that's fine too. Just another barracks here. Just for that build speed bonus, but I think this this may actually be the maximum because I think I have at least like two barracks already. But as it turns out, you can't use the commander against the, the face generators anyway. I guess you can just slap C4 on those. Boom, there we go. But yeah, let's see. No? Nope, can't. I don't think you can even force fire on it. So we just know, I think it's just not an illegal target. No, no jetpack for that commando. There's some use I do. But this guy here is just a C4, C4 guy basically. Yeah. You're just doing some push ups here. And there's some target there, but doesn't really matter. But yeah, it seems like the Baron Crisis too it does have jetpack commanders. Oh yeah, hey, more of your air units. Well, you want to go down swiftly, I can promise you that. Oh, they did actually have a harvester there. I guess that's just the guy that went there after uh, things got went downhill. Or it might be from uh, a base in that region. It doesn't really matter too much. 
in any case. Yeah, try to go with like a weapon mode here to, to blow up all the reactors, like all these phase generators here in in, in sequence, but that uh, that didn't really that didn't really work either. So the, the coin just doesn't do anything. It's, it's just walking along here. Bit unfortunate, but oh well. I guess to us, I don't think it would make it too easy because again, there's a lot of units coming in after you did that, and uh, as long as you can't see for the tower, it's fine. Which wouldn't really matter because you can't reach it in some because it's good to call for uh, call for transport the command down there but at that point you're getting a little bit too fancy you may as well just use your army if you have an army that is yep and as well builds a little more stuff here yeah it's just some zone troopers because why not fast to build and the generators actually have quite a lot of health. They don't have that much health in the in the original, but I think it's also because the mission where you defend them. And yeah, I guess we can still target the the walkers here, which is nice. Which has quite a quite a number here. Yeah, one generator is down. Yeah, they have their devourers here plus tripod walkers, but yeah. This, at this point here you can be can just be ready then you're probably fine commando here is at least taking down a couple of these guys which is not bad because he's going to be taken down himself soon anyway but hey may, may as well do something useful in the meantime because why not those guys are just walking straight in the defenses so that's that's not really that much of a problem but yeah more devourers and hey one air unit coming after us here they also, the units they, they do face in slowly, so at least you get a little bit of a grace period here before they... Go. They all seem to like going south. It seems like their script to just go for maybe your base, or maybe they go for, script to go for structures, not for units. So they um, they just go and get themselves almost like drive-by killed here. But yeah, not too much of an issue here, really. Yeah, they, they already went down, no? down most here, mostly here. And I think... Uh, even if you're not prepared, you might actually get away with just destroying the face generators and then the tower while those units ravage the rear base, which you may or may not need at the time, but I guess it all depends on what your, your setup is and the situation on the battlefield. But yeah, it's, yeah they're, they're already down and there's the war cast, but I guess you can pick those up as well. You can pick those up after you bring up one generator, which I guess is nice, but it's, it's not really needed. And there's the... Just another... Uh, of the, the screen battleships here, but yeah, you, it's just a single one, so it's not really much of an issue. And there we go. So, one generator remains this time that's actually behind the blue tabarium field. I'm not sure whether Marv gets more money for driving or that, I think it does, but uh, I'm not sure whether it does in this game. I guess we'll find out. Maybe it yeah, is collecting some of the wrecks here, not, not really necessary, but. Yeah, why not? May as well do that while we are while we're at it here. And yeah, I think occasionally you get get these as full health even with shields and everything, but not always. I'm not sure whether that depends on maybe the faction you take or what upgrades you had here. So I'm not sure. But yeah, another phase generator. Oh, it's going to go down in a moment. There we go. Simultaneous. Uh, recovery there that's always nice so you guys can you can come back a little bit there you go six of these not bad even though again not quite needed now but uh, may as well and they're still smoking yep yep there are those tripods okay last one here do they even have forces oh, yeah they do have forces phasing in here Right on top of my guys, in fact. Yeah. Yeah, generator, generator's down already, and these guys again, they go south. Which is really their mistake, they should go for the forces, just for the closest target. But yeah, there's so many big guns here at this point here. Yeah, they don't stand a chance. But this guy here just now turned around. Yeah. But that was basically it. So let's go after it. See whether the Iron Can actually does it. It, it may not. New objective this looks kind of weird because the tower is so huge. 
Nope. Doesn't even look uh, look damaged. But that's also fine. Oh, this is slow. Like how this like, specific attack point, I guess that's the one. That's not, like the Lord Baron brick of that tower. Okay, now it actually looks damaged. Yeah, all the defenders are already down. And this is gonna go... Nope. Not gone. No switching of Nod's focus here. Yeah, exactly what not. There we go. It's turning dark. The tower's tough indeed, but it's not really that tough. It's, it's tougher than, uh, mostly tougher than the, than the, the, uh, the shield generators, but at this point here you probably have all the time. Oh, there we go. Look at that explosion. Look at, look at the frames. Look how they're dropping. Good fireworks indeed, and the tower's just gone. So there's nothing left. That doesn't just co collapse. It's, it's just completely erased. But I guess that's how it works in this game here. Yeah. Actually, that's not quite true. You have some builds that leave ruins like Yuri's Castle. Yeah, overall, uh, not too difficult. But you have to be ready to defend your base against the screen initially. And don't go after those face generators prematurely. If you do, uh, you're probably going to get overrun by those forces. Because they don't even going to go for the attackers. They're going to go for the... Uh, probably for your base there. Well, thanks for watching and take care.